Shout out to other stars aligning in Hollywood. ESPN.com's Ramona Shelburne and Brian Windhorst are reporting the Lakers are seriously targeting LeBron or Carmelo in the summer of 2014, when both are expected to exercise the early termination option in their contracts and become free agents. Welcome to the new NBA, where teams must realize they have to clear enough cap space to add multiple superstars if they want to attract anyone of significance. I, for one, I think the Lakers have a legitimate shot of landing Something like a Justice League, if you will. What about you, Mike? Justice League, huh? I figured that would be near to your heart. This is this is make believe too. I'm glad you went. Hollywood is the place of, of fantasies and dreams, and, and you know, so why not? I guess it, this ain't happening. They're not getting Carmelo. They're definitely not getting LeBron, and they for doggone sure ain't getting both of them. Okay, it's not neither one of these guys have any incentive to uproot themselves and go to L.A. just because it's L.A., because of the history, because it's sunny. I've told y'all before, it ain't market, it's management. Carmelo's got work to finish in New York. Remember, he forced his way out of Denver and made them blow up that team to get the contract he wanted. So when he opts out, it's to get another contract. As for LeBron, why leave an empire, maybe a dynasty, to go and start over somewhere else? You're, you're a Batman fan. you got to be made Justice this. League, baby. No, I'm not with that. <laughs> LeBron's already made. He's a made man. So why would you go to L.A.? And not only that, Y'all forget that Kobe, Kobe's coming off of injury. So Kobe's going to be trying to prove that he can still play. So if I'm Carmelo or LeBron James, do you really think at, my, at this point in my career, I'm going to take a backseat to Kobe Bryant? Because that's basically what you're going to do. No matter what you do, you can come there with all the star power. If Kobe Bryant's there, it's still Kobe Bryant's team. And he's going to do everything in his power, I believe, to let everybody know that it's still his team. Mike, Mike, Mike you talk about how you know Carmelo forced his way out of Denver, and he did. He said, I need to, basically, I need to go to a big market and yeah. be the guy. Go he's, home. He's the guy. He went home as well. Yeah. He's the guy there. And as far as LeBron is concerned, why would you now leave somewhere where you won two titles? titles? And Dwayne Wade, at some point, will be leaving. At some point, he'll be moving on and doing other things. And now everybody will come to Miami to be with you. They're telling me. You, you can be the guy. You, you can be the guy to say, you know what? I want to go play with LeBron. I'm gonna go down and to take my talents to to, to to South Beach to be with LeBron. <laughs> well, so that's what I'm talking about. There's a problem with that. Is that Miami right now? They've committed so much money to D Wade, LeBron, and Chris Bosh. They don't have a lot of money to spend. We know that Miami wants to keep winning titles, or I'm, I should say, LeBron does. Both of them do, for that matter. I don't think LeBron minds being a hired gun, so to speak. He's going to go wherever he can keep winning titles, period. That's the only thing that matters. And you talk about uh, Carmelo Anthony having to finish what he started in New York. That was the same argument you used for Dwight Howard. He's got to finish in L.A. Why? I don't know. Maybe, he doesn't maybe have I, to. Maybe I don't have the commitment issues you have. So maybe, I don't know. Maybe I just like to stay in this. No, this is the new NBA. That's what you oh, guys we just playing pick up basketball in the NBA now? I got, Pretty much. Like, I got, I got, I got, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, Mark Cuban said it a couple weeks ago, and, and he's right. The way that you get guys now is freeing up all the gas. Oh, how's that working out for him? <laughs> well, it didn't work for him, but he's but his logic is right. He's just in the wrong place. You free up a lot of cap space. You say to whatever, be it LeBron, Carmelo, hey, pick your team. Who else you want to be with? That's what these guys want to do. That's appealing to the AAU culture. These guys came up through AAU. They're used to playing with other big time superstars. They don't they don't have the if same loyalty to stay at LeBron, one house. If you're LeBron and you help make Eric Spolster. And you know you got the Don and, and Pat Riley. Right. 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 He was a good coach before, but now he right. helped make it. Right. You helped make it, you know, he helped make it even better. You yeah, know what yeah, right. Now he's got two rings okay. in large part because you, you got a coach you trust, is what I'm saying. And management you trust. Why would you go and deal with Jim Buss in L.A.? Why would you go somewhere uncertain? It LeBron. won't be uncertain if he shows up. But we'll see how certain this covered. I like how you want to say it. LeBron made it explosive now after you were talking about how No, no, no. He made him into a future All-Fan coach for that. All right. Good. We'll, we'll settle this. Should LeBron and Carmelo consider teaming up with the Lakers in 2014? The numbers say no. History suggests LeBron shouldn't leave Miami. He became the ninth player ever to win multiple finals MVPs with one team. None of the previous eight went on to win another title with a new team. He should go to Cleveland before he goes to L.A. But that's a conversation for another day. Still